In this lesson, we'll practice converting from inches to millimeters. So it's just slightly different from the previous lessons where we converted to centimeters. And let's see what it says. It says a circle has a radius of 1.25 inches. What's the circumference of the circle in millimeters? And here's our conversion factor. One inch is equal to 25.4 millimeters. Well, now if you notice, that's pretty doggone close to the previous conversion of centimeters, because centimeters is 2.54, but in millimeters, it's 25.4. And the power of this is that in the metric system, these relationship between millimeters and centimeters, meters, kilometers, things of that nature, they're all essentially the same, except there's a change in the decimal point to go from one unit of measure to the other. And that really simplifies your math calculations. And since the scientific community uses the metric system worldwide, it's really useful to use the metric system. All right, So that's why we're converting into millimeters. So you can get into the habit of using one of th these types of measurements. All right, so the, now what we also know, since the circle has a radius of 1.25 inches, that means it has a diameter of 2 times the radius. And so 2 times 1.25 inches is equal to 2.5 inches. So that means our diameter is equal to 2.5 inches. And then you know how to do all this by now. The circumference is just the diameter times pi. And that's what I've done here. So 2.5 inches times 3.1416 is equal to 7.854 inches. And then now that we have it in inches, then we just have to convert that into millimeters. All right, so then, just like we've done in the previous equation, let's set that up. If one inch is equal to 25.4 millimeters, and I'm going to get that into this format here. And I'm, in this case, I'll show you more explicitly how I did that first. So one inch equals, I'll make a little more space there, equals 25.4 millimeters. And that's just something you look up. That's the conversion factor. Right, so MVR conversion factor like that. Well, now to get this into this equation format down here, all I need to do is I d you, in a math equation, you, if you do one thing to one side, you can you have to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to divide this side by an inch like this, and I'll make give it some space. So if I do that to that side, yeah, then I'm going to divide this side by one inch also. one inch. And when I do that, what happens is this inch term cancels out and this inch term cancels out both on the left side and then the only thing I'm left with is 25.4 millimeters per inch. So I'll take that out and that ends up being just like this. So that's just really the same as saying 25.4 millimeters you know, per inch, like this, per inch. And that's really what that is, 25.4 millimeters per inch. So that's what I have here, 25.4 millimeters per inch. And then I multiply that times our 7.854 inches, which we calculated as their circumference. And that gives us 199.49 millimeters for the circumference. And I cross out the inch term and the inch term here, and that's why we're left with millimeters all by itself in this side of the equation. Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.